Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Shadow Charizard and Shadow Venusaur but we're going to look at two different Shadow Charizards. So one is going to have Dragon Breath and Blast Burn and if you did not know you can evolve Charmeleons right now into Charizards to get a double legacy Dragon Breath and Blast Burn on your Charizard Shadow or regular. Make sure you do TMOA Frustration first and you can do that right now as well. All right, so let's talk about this Charizard here. We got a decently lengthy video, 40 minutes for you. So which one did I like better? Getting right down to it, I'm going to have to say I like the Fire Spin. I did test out the Dragon Breath pretty thoroughly here. We've used it before, uh, but we're going to be using it at a longer extent here. And we're going to do it not side by side. But right after this, we're going to be going in here with the Fire Spin one. Look, we're going up against the Caesar. Do you see? Look, a great example. This, this is a struggle using a shield when otherwise would have easily farmed them down with Fire Spin. Are you kidding me? A double four times a week to uh, fire Pokemon? Now, that's not the only situation going up against Trevenant, going up against other things. It's like, oh my goodness. I only had found myself in one situation like Swampert here. Okay, sure. Dragon Breath would be good in this situation, right? But I didn't really find myself in that situation too many times. Now, what I did find myself in one situation that was good with the Dragon Breath was going to be going up against Giratina. They retreated, but I still lost that battle because, well, you already know, hard counter swap, hard counter this and that. It's all fun, right? And it's still been like that today, folks. So we're not going to go off about that. We'll just go ahead and stay on track here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have to say Fire Spin. So if you do evolve one right now, you know, it's not like you... I'm sure you have a couple of them lying around. If you got a couple of Shadow Charmanders, you go ahead and just battle one of the Rocket Leaders so you can go ahead and get another one. And then just get rid of... Uh, Dragon Breath. Maybe keep one with it and Blast Burn for sure. But I'm going to have to say Fire Spin 100% all the way for myself personally. Now we are going to be putting Shadow Venusaur alongside it for the entire time. As far as the third Pokemon, we'll be swapping that out periodically. We're going to have a couple of different Machamps. One will have Payback and one will have Rock Slide. Both of them do have Counter and Cross Chop, of course. So we'll see how that goes. I had to keep on swatching. Sw Wow, can I speak to Swatching, that's the new word for swap, folks. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I had to keep swapping out my team because of the hard counters and all that stuff. You already know. But Shadow Venusaur, always a Pokemon you want. Make sure you make one right now. Things an absolute and utter complete beast. Yeah, it can get walled, but the thing is still amazing. Going up against things that are resisting Frenzy Plan, still going to do a ton of damage still going to be putting in that work and still going to be able to spam really fast all right if you don't get yourself a shadow that's okay but really at this point there's no excuse because you know you, you just battle one of the rocket leaders get that shadow tmo frustration you're good to go i still haven't found a good starly and i don't you know i'm, I'm driving myself crazy right now because i have to do all these battles have to edit them and I want to be out there grinding folks I want to be out there grinding those rocket stops but hey you know what it is the grind doesn't stop so we're going to go ahead and step into the commentary here up against this Gengar Dragon Breath ah uh, whatever you know in this situation here but they're going to be swapping into a Polytoad and we're going to go ahead and bring in our Venusaur we haven't used a shield yet here so we have two to two we're going to be getting the first shield out of them right away now we do need to look out for a potential Blizzard even Earthquake also is going to be doing a lot we let this first one go oh, never mind we shield it up okay Thought I'd let the first one go. So shielding up the first one. So now they're going to be clear to go for the blizzard here. Don't really feel like double shielding it. Expecting a blizzard. So if I get hit by it, it's not a surprise. And there it is. So we have Empoleon Charizard, which is not looking too great here. But they have no more shields. So I think that's one of the reasons why we kind of just let the Venusaur go down. So we can maintain that one shield for later down the line here. Charizard has a decent amount of health on it. And they're bringing in that Gengar. Okie dokie. Now we do need to look out for... Shadow Ball is going to be doing a lot, and obviously Focus Blast will be one-shotting us. And what do they have in the back here? A Melmetal. All right, so we can win this. Gengar will win CMP over Charizard, so we got to keep that in mind. We have one shield, they have zero. We call the Rock Slide. Beautiful. Getting to the Hydro Cannon to take out the Melmetal. And this Gengar is really in trouble because our Charizard does have energy, and there's really nothing they can do. We're going to go ahead and let this go. Shadow Punch, not enough to take us out. We take the win with our Empoleon. Let's get it. So I will let you know right away when we have the Fire Spin. It is going to be up against uh, something that it, I think it's a Trevenant that we're going to see for uh, when we start using the Fire Spin. All right, so we're up against a Obstagoon here. All right, no problem. 
Now, if, you, if you're just doing neutral damage, it's pretty good. Plus the shadow damage that you're going to be doing extra on top of that, it is pretty decent. I didn't mean to make it seem like, you know, Dragon Breath is all horrible on Charizard. It's a pretty cool quick move to have on it. But in my personal experience, I always just found Fire Spin to be better. Every time I use Dragon Breath, it's just never working. But most of the time, pretty much, uh, when my opponents have it, it's always looking good for them. All right, so we're up against this Trevenant here. Now, this is not the one, obviously, because we still have Dragon Breath. Getting off the Rock Slide, and after this, I do swap out this Machamp for the Payback one. I was just like, you know what? What if we run into Giratina? What if we run into another Trevenant? Shields are down. I got to have that uh, Payback on deck here, so we will be swapping that out. Bringing in the Venusaur to finish off the job here, shielding that up. They get the boost down, they go. We don't get to see their last Pokemon. All right, <laughs> there we go. Fire Spin Charizard has entered the arena. Now, whoa, 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 wait, is it, is it Fire? No, oh, that's, is that Dragon Breath? I swear it was Fire Spin at this point. Nope, that's still Dragon Breath. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Maybe one more battle, so we got another situation where having Fire Spin would have been better. So, good, another testimony as to... Yeah, no thanks, I'm good. It just held me back completely and utterly. Alright, I can't even see what's over there. <laughs> I guess I could just look at the name, but... Oh, it was uh, Escavalier. So, uh, yeah, see, uh, there you go again. You will never have an Escavalier thrown into battle up against the Shadow Charizard unless you have Dragon Breath. See, there you go. Even they were mocking me. Quite literally, I don't think they're mocking me, but... <laughs> Feels like it. So we take them out, and they got two Pokemon kind of weak to fighting. Escavalier, not necessarily weak to fighting because of the bug typing, but let's be real. With the Shadow Machamp's damage, it's basically equal, equaling out to weakness to fighting. Simple as that. So we're letting this go, because I'm like, nope, I'm not using my last shield, and we take them out with Machamp. Let's get it. Next battle, leading with Charizard. I don't think the entire time. We're going to go Venusaur for a while. Um, and we're still on this Dragon Breath. Again, Fire Spin would have been good up against this Heracross. See? This is the story of my life, man. Gee whiz. And now we got to look out for this damn Rock Blast, which is going to take us out of one shot because it's just extremely strong against the Fire and Flying type. So we're going to go for a Dragon Claw. I think they were trying to catch that on something. Muck. I'm going to go ahead and bring in our Machamp here. So we've used one shield. They've used one shield. And this is looking pretty good, although Heracross is going to be resisting the fighting. And they do have a bit of energy kind of stored up. Venusaur is going to still be able to put in the work though. So we're going to go ahead and counter them down, having a good amount of energy here ready to go. Well, eh, not too much. We'll let this go. Will we survive Rock Blast? And we don't. They take us out with a Rock Blast. Not very effective. Interesting. So they've used their energy again with the Dragon Breath nonsense and they have an Aggron and they snipe me. They were probably laughing so hard right now. Like, I'm going to beat Poke AK with this Aggron. <laughs> okay. Well, let me introduce you to my friend, okay, Ghost OG. He's got a little something to, to show you here, a little magic trick. So it's called, one, two, three, goodbye, all right? <laughs> and we're building up extra energy to make sure we get to a frenzy plan to take out this Heracross in the back, and we take the win. Let's go. All right, so here you go. This is going to be a Dragon Breath example as the only good situation. They retreated. Oh, and then it's over. I just lost. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and see what we have. Do we have... Tell me this is Fire Spin. I think this is the one. I, I got it right. It is a Trevenant. Okay, now we have it. Okay, so it was a Trevenant. Swapping into a Machamp. And as soon as I saw that Machamp swap in and I swap into my Venusaur, I was like, Exactly! Fire Spin is so much better! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Go Battle League's making me lose my mind, folks. It really is. If it was just a game I picked up that wasn't a job, I would be like, ah, this game is bad. Where's the, where, you know, where's the console game? You know, let's let's get on that. <laughs> what is this crap? Let's get on the main series game. But it's my job, so here we are. Okay, so we're up against an Ubreon. Frenzy Plant is just going bananas here. I mean, we could technically shield this up, but we're going to go ahead and just let it go because we got the Machamp. And it's still two shields here. They're swapping back into that Trevenant. And I'll, oh, I'm, I'm try-hard swapping. You better freaking believe it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've been suppressed for so long using that Dragon Breath. So, no. Time to unleash with this Fire Spin here. We're farming you down. Get out of here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and throw that Blast Burn. This hits like a truck. And they're shielding it up. I don't know why I went for Blast Burn. I guess I kind of forgot how much health they had on the Umbreon. 
but it doesn't really matter. We're bringing in Machamp to take out the Umbreon, and we're looking good. Thank you very much. Oh, he's lagging. What's, go what's going on there? All right. Next battle. I'm leading with Charizard? Okay. And again, see? This is good. I mean, it's technically like, oh, you know, they'll win for sure. Yeah, but I'd rather have a fire spin in this situation. 100%, 1,000%, always and forever. Okay, so we swap into our Venusaur. You oh, it's this one. Okay, so I shield this up. Do they stay here? You gotta respect the Frenzy Plant. Okay. I'm sure they got a strategy going on here. We're gonna let this go. Calling a Rock Side. Beautiful. It is a Rock Side. Frenzy Plant's not necessarily super effective to Galarian Stunfist, but you better believe it's still doing a ton of damage because we're Shadow and Venusaur takes no prisoners. All right. We'll let this go. We don't want to use our last shield. We really can't afford to do so right now. Plus, we got a bit champ ready to go. They got that Trevenant and Fire Spin. See? This is why I love it. This is why I love it. Fire spin on Charizard over Dragon Breath. Uh-uh. I'm good. Okay, so we kind of need to call the... Okay, yeah. Okay. Figure that was a little bit soon, but it doesn't really matter here. They still have two shields, but at this point, it doesn't matter because we just can quick move them down. I don't know why I'm throwing this here. They don't use any of their shields. Remember, folks, use your shields. I think they got to a point where they're like, I lose. So I'm just not going to use any shields. I'm good. All right, next battle. We're met with the Cresselia. This is going to be a nice matchup if they do not have Future Sight. I can't really particularly say which one it's going to have here. Usually you can, depending on the Pokemon I have in the back. So they go in Moonblast, so I would assume there's no Future Sight because you don't bait if you have Moonblast and Future Sight and something's resisting Moonblast. You just go straight for the Future Sight, right? So Grass Knot and Moonblast, got it. So we do resist those. We will shield this up because it is starting to add up here. So we've gotten one shield. Blast Burn does a ton of damage even to the Cresselia here from that Shadow plus Stab. And we're getting two shields from them. So if they have... Moonblast and Frenzy Plant. Hey, our Venusaur is going to be resisting everything as well. If they bring in a Talonflame, that's okay. We'll Sludge Bomb them. They're not going anywhere, so there might be something back there weak, or they just want us to take them out so they don't lock themselves in, which is a good strategy as well. We still have one shield, and it is going to be a Gramble, so I'm going to guess this whole team is going to be weak to Venusaur in the back. So we throw the Sludge Bomb, and they're catching it with a what? Swamper. Damn. Good catch. I, ha I said that one out loud. As Even though I was in like all kinds... I was starting to calm down here because I had the good, you know, decent lead. I wasn't good lead. It was a decent. And now we're not getting completely walled because that simple thing helps us. The fire spin and the Venusaur cleaning up house afterwards for us. Let's go. Party's over. Venusaur, I said I got to clean up. It's, it's time for you to go. All right. <laughs> Next battle, we're met with a Gengar. And somebody said, hey, stop laughing. You're not funny. Hey, um, hey. I know you're still watching me because you just can't resist my voice. You can't resist my videos. You love to watch me. You got the Poke AK picture on your wall with the heart around it. Look, look, if you want, just talk to me, man. You don't need to lash out to get attention, okay? Love you. Anyways, we're going to see them going for an earthquake. And we're going to go ahead and let that go. Venusaur said, what? What earthquake? We're going to go ahead and take them out. In comes Cresselia. Oh, and they're farming us down with Psycho Cut. Still have two shields. Charizard, ton of energy. Moonblast is going to about do it here. Uh, yeah, we survived barely holding on to that shield just by an inch here. Going for a blast burn, letting it go. And we're going to go ahead and swap. And we have the wall rain on the team. Now, I do believe we're going to be using this for the remainder of the video here. And it was because, look, I don't want to use wall rain because it is OP as hell. But I couldn't take it. I'm losing my freaking mind with this game. So here we are with the wall rain. I don't care anymore. So let's go for the spam here. Icicle Spear getting that last shield. This is our last Pokemon here. We can survive a Grass Knot at this point. So we're going to go ahead and let it go. Just because we can really. Simple as that. So getting to another Icicle Spear and Wall Rain yet again. Well, yet again, I guess. It's always been that good thing. But uh, here we are. We're going to go ahead and now use the shield. And we're going to go ahead and quick move them down. And uh, take the win. Let's get it. All right. Thank you very much. Moving on to our next battle. What are we leading with? Charizard, Fire Spin, Champ. Okay, got to look out for Rock Slide. This is a decent matchup. Okay, weak connection. All right. So let's miss some quick moves, folks. All right. So we're shielding this up. It is a Rock Slide, so good thing we called that. And going for the Dragon Claw here. Casually hitting those bubbles. I don't know what the heck I was doing. All right, now I'm going to hit those a little bit more intensely. That's more like it. Show some enthusiasm at least. Come on. All right, they've got a Primarina. 
And I said, ha, 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 great, love it, love to see it. Unfortunately, they are going to be getting to their psychic and hitting it before us, so we will have to use a shield, leaving us shieldless while they have one, but they are locked in here, so they are either going to have to shield it up or let it go. What's in the back? And it is going to be a Trevenant. Let's go. I just needed to hit this Sludge Bomb. If they let it go, they're basically dead. All right, they shielded up using their last shield, and we're going to go ahead and immediately bring in our, tre our Trevenant, our Walrein to Icicle Spear spam them. So they're gonna be getting to another one here, but we will be able to survive. And then a couple of more quick moves is gonna have to do it. This is not enough. So they could potentially almost win here if they get just enough farm to take us out, then they could take out our Venusaur, but we have a double KO and I still have the Venusaur in the back. I take the win. Let's keep it moving here. Hope you're having a good go battle day. Seeing a lot of people wear this shirt. I don't know what's going on. If they're like, is this like, cause it's go fest or something? Is that, that's the shirt for this year, huh? I haven't even, Taking off the tags from my GoFest from last year. All right, anyways, we're up against this Snorlax here. And eh, Charge, that's kind of squishy. Uh, Shadow, you know, obviously you're going to just be that much more squishier. So we get the shield with the Dragon Claw. This is good. We're going to go ahead and let this go. We use one shield ourselves. They want to double shield that Snorlax. By all means, please be my guest. Do so. They let it go. We take them out. We take the win. Great. And not too much health, so they can't farm us too much. And we have the wall rain ready to go. They swap into their Sylveon and we bring in the Venusaur. This is rock, paper, scissors. This is what I was dealing with, okay? This is the crap I have to deal with all day. It's so crazy. Anyway, I know I said I was going to talk about it. Right, right, right. So this is a good matchup here. Simply shielding this up. There's really nothing they can do. They can't catch. So I'm just going to be building up extra energy just, just to have fun with it. I mean, might as well while we're here. And then go for the Frenzy Plant. Going for a Frenzy Plant on the Crobat. It's just going to be massively four times resisted. How much does it do? Frenzy, Shadow, still a decent amount. Immediately swapping into our Wall Race so they can't gain a, that much more farm. Going for a Poison Fang and then a Shadow Ball would be doing a lot of damage plus the quick move. So we're going to go ahead and just make that swap immediately here. Take them out. Ooh, one more quick move. And now we take them out. Take the win there. Looking good. Uh, all numbers, opponent. This is a good lead, not complaining. Actually, it's probably one of the best. They swap into a muck, which kind of confused me. I was like, you know what? Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this off, make them think it's a, a earthquake, and we did. Unfortunately, we're not able to swap ourselves, so we will let this go. Calling an acid spray, beautiful, because they have poison jab. Bringing in the Charizard, because I figure this is the best matchup. Venusaur is going to actually have a decent matchup if it gets Flygon, because it is going to be part ground, and it is still going to be doing a lot of damage to it as well, because it is Shadow. We're going to go ahead and get that uh, Blast Burn off. They're shielding it up. And we just need to get to this Dragon Claw. I do not think this is actually enough to even take them out. Ooh, so that's unfortunate. But they've used two shields, so I figure I'm just going to go ahead and start farming up here. And they're going to probably go for Acid Spray, yeah, preparing it for the next Pokemon. So we're just going to hold on to our shields here. And they come in with their own Wall Rain. We're going to immediately swap into Venusaur. And like we discussed, Venusaur is still going to be good up against Flygon. I'm expecting them to swap right after this here. Yeah, got some beautiful lag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got to love it. Going for the Frenzy Plan here. How much is this going to do? Look at that. About 80% of their health. <laughs> okay, okay. This is a great league. Or I mean, Ultra League, sorry. <laughs> so the Flygon's got some, you know, thickness to it. Bringing back the Wall Rain. We're going to go ahead and go for that Frenzy Plant. And that's going to wrap it up here for that battle. We still got plenty of... We still got 20 minutes left here. All right, next battle we're met with a Talonflame. So, yes, the back line doesn't necessarily want to see it. Now, this is a matchup here for Charizard's Dragon Breath. Yeah, this is one that's actually okay. Okay, okay, all right. So, Walrein can actually handle the situation too. So, we're just going to go ahead and stick around. They go for a Brave Bird. That's just going to be making them weaker. We'll take them out quicker. First Flame Charge, we can let go. The quick moves, uh, they start adding up, but you don't have to really worry about them too much. Definitely going to be shielding up this next one here. And you definitely want to time your Powdered Snows, or should I say your Weather Balls, so that you're not letting them get a quick move through. Because that's just going to allow them to generate more energy and just be that much more of a threat to you. Alright, so we're going to let this go here because, well, they used two, oh no, one shield. And we want to farm down with Venusaur. Look at that. We farmed out with Venusaur. They didn't even get a quick move through. That's hilarious. So if they're coming in here with Togekiss, uh, yep, Sarfetched in the back. We're going to go for the Frenzy Plant here, taking them out and swapping to Charizard, and then they back out. We take the win there. Let's go. Moving on to our next opponent, we're going to be met with a Talonflame again. They're going to be swapping, though, into a Escavalier, and here we go. This is what I'm freaking talking about. 
Are you kidding me? That dragon breath was a, just an extreme joke. So we're able to farm them down and have a ton of energy. This is what I like about my Shadow Charizard. Let's go. All right, now I was using this one before. Now I did, you saw the investment. That's why my Stardust is gone, okay? Okay, making it up. I'm a Charizard fan. I'm a Kanto starter fan, so I really don't have a problem with having a unique move set for it. It's not like, oh, that investment, eh, eh, it's okay. Have it on the roster, it is what it is. I'll make a Venusaur when it gets another community day with its other move, and same with Blastoise if it gets Aura Sphere. We don't know what Venusaur is gonna get though. They haven't announced it, so just uh, heads up. Okay, I'm just saying for the future because you better believe they're gonna be giving Venusaur another move in the future. So we have a Tangrowth here. Do you believe they back out? Yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> and we take that win. Let's keep it moving. Next opponent. Wall Rain lead, met with the Drapion. We'll take it. Charizard would have liked to see this. Well, actually, no, because Aqua Tail. Potential Aqua Tail. So they don't like to see Wall Rain either because of the Earthquake. It's going to be doing a ton of damage. Well, that Crunch is really kind of just tickling us. Although it will accumulate because of the fast charge that it does have with its quick move. Shielding up the Earthquake correctly and calling it. Very good. They don't want to let this thing go. <laughs> Should have took that out, but we'll just keep it rolling here and let you hear my stumbles. All right, now I'm really hoping they think this is an earthquake and shield it up. And they do, beautiful. And we will be shielding this up ourselves here. Now we gotta be very careful because I don't know. I mean, if they double shield this, oh, well, they already did, it's done. And they, oh, and they locked themselves into a toxic croak. So we swap into our Charizard here and this is looking absolutely beautiful. So we do shield this up because it is a dynamic punch, but whatever, <laughs> I didn't know that they were gonna have dynamic punch and not uh, sludge bomb like, uh, I don't know, 99% of the people do have. Dynamic Punch is nice. So this is starting to lag here. Um, and check it out, folks. Sometimes I do allow people to get their footing back if it does lag, right? If it does lag, I, I you, you've seen it. I put it up before. I stop attacking and I allow them to catch up, whatever the case is. But I'm not doing that anymore because nobody's done it for me. So guess what? They're probably laughing like, yeah, sucker. So guess what? If it lags for my opponent, what I'm going to do just keep on tapping, baby. Oh, you better believe... I'm not even going to throw a charge move. All I'm going to do is like farm as much as I can. So once they get out of whatever loop lag that they were in, thanks to Niantic's crab game or potentially trying to freeze the game to potentially get a leg up on your opponent, whatever the case may be, I'm just going to have a bunch of energy ready to throw at you. So, yes, I've got a, a pissy attitude towards the situation because I'm sick and tired of this Go Battle League nonsense. And we're met with a bad lead Escavalier. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just stay here. Because, uh, yeah, we got Charizard, but uh, we're just going to have to hold our ground for now because they'll counter us and it's going to get all unsynced if we do that. So we're just going to hold our ground here and allow them to take us out and we'll just go in and farm them down with Charizard, unfortunately. Well, I think maybe we can... Uh, let's see, I think they shield this up. Yeah, they're going to farm us down here. Farming them down with Venusaur is a little bit of a stretch. It's kind of a dumb thing to do. So we'll just go ahead and bring in the Charizard. You throw the acid spray. That's okay. They swap them and lock themselves. Oh, no, we took them out. Now they lock themselves. Okay, perfect. So Venusaur is going to be strong against both of their backline Pokemon. So, folks, if you could hit the like button. I'm really curious as to how to increase the likes on my videos. I've uh, been here for a while. Got a decent amount of followers here, right? Um, got the views good, looking pretty good. I'm just curious how to increase the likes, really um, putting in that work. So if you could, I'd just be really appreciated. Uh, again, this is one of the reasons why I don't reply to comments or heart things anymore is because, I mean, time is time, sleep on me. I just, you know, so basically what my mindset is like is, okay, well, nobody's liking this. So that means I have to put out two times the content, which is two times the work, therefore I can't really dilly-dally around and look around and just reply and stuff like that. That's what I'm trying to get at here. So, in a nutshell, if you could hit that like button, that'd be great. <laughs> Anyways, uh, up against Gengar here, what's going on? This is a good matchup. This is a good matchup. Yeah, as long as we call it, I guess. If we shield it up, the uh, Shadow Punch is not going to be looking too great. I think we actually... Shield this up, okay. We could survive that, but you know how it goes. Yeah, if you do that, you know. They've used both shields already, so I guess it didn't really matter. They go, whoa, wall raid is just too nasty here. Because they keep going for shadow punches, we take out the Gengar, and we still have one shield. Beautiful. And they're able to get a decent amount of farm here, so I'm going to go ahead and just swap and lock myself 
with an icicle spear ready to go on wall rain. But here's the thing. It has like one HP. So uh, ee, I don't know. It's going to be a bad situation. All this beautiful lag. And they caught the frenzy plant on their Venusaur. Ooh, they're so clever. That was a good catch though, no, actually. That was too soon. Definitely going to be a frenzy plant. So we're letting that go. Yeah, it was easily callable. We're going to go for the sludge bomb ourselves, which is not going to be enough to KO. They can't find whip us down here. That's a good situation here for me. So I swap into my wall rain, immediately throw the icicle spear that we did have. So I guess we're good to go. We're actually able to get it in there, folks, and bring it in the Venusaur with energy. We're shielding this up. And if I do recall this correctly, my opponent backs out right after I hit the frenzy plant and we don't see it connect. Well, we do, but it doesn't do the damage. And we take that beautiful win. Let's keep it moving here. On to our next opponent. Got a couple, well, not a couple. <laughs> I was looking at 25 minutes and uh, then I saw the end time, like 40. I was like, yeah, never mind. Still got a lot of battles. So we had a good lead. They're swapping into Wall Rain, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our Venusaur here. Not particularly like the best. As I say that, as we one shot them, but if they shielded that up, it wouldn't have been good. You, you see, don't sleep on that. Frenzy Plant from the Shadow Venusaur. I mean, what you, what's, what's going on? Next battle, we're met with a Samurai with Fury Cutter. So Mega Horn is the move that they need to rival this thing here. And that's exactly what they do have. Okay, very good. So we're going to go for Earthquake. We do let it go, holding onto our shields. And they're probably just going to go for Hydro Cannons at this point because, well, they're thinking, yeah, he doesn't want to go down with that Mega Horn. But I'm thinking, you're not going for Mega Horn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And at this point, though, they can Fury Cut us down, which will leave them with a bunch of energy. So I kind of need to figure this situation out here. So uh, not, not not particularly the best. So what we can do to recover the situation is shield this up. They've used one shield. We farm them down. Now they will be able to have the swap advantage here. But hey, at least we have a little bit of energy ready to go. And we got the threat out of the way for Charizard. They're coming in with a Drapion, and they immediately swap. And they have a Mandibuzz in the back. So, ooh. See, here's the thing, like we discussed in the beginning of the video and un and under other Shadow Venusaur videos is the fact that that Shadow Frenzy plant does not take any prisoners. You're a poison type, it doesn't really care. You're a steel type, it doesn't really, well, no, it doesn't really care. You're a fire type, it still doesn't care. You're a Lolan Marowak, oh, it still is going to love you even more. So Charizard putting in the work, it says, I will not let my master down. And I said, Charizard, buddy. We're standing on the mountaintop. Let's go. You're the one. All right. So here we are. I'm just hoping like, eh, I don't know what I'm hoping. I'm just hoping I can take him out with frenzy plants. I need to get to two more because I got a shield. They're going to shield this one up and we need to get to another one. I'm like, now we'll win CMP, but can we beat them to all of these charge moves? I'm expecting a sludge bomb at this point. Yep, there it is. Now they just need one crunch. Now the reason why they don't throw their energy, I think they don't have enough. And the reason why is because they would have just let themselves energy dry. Charizard would have came in and destroyed them. The quick move's not enough damage and we would have been able to take them out. So we take that win. Next battle met with a Talonflame. And you already know what this is. We just need to make sure we take them low enough so that we could Vine Whip down like we did last time with the Frenzy Plant or with the uh, Venusaur. I'm all calling Venusaur Frenzy Plant now because of... <laughs> All right, anyway, so no shields, letting the first one go, looking good. Icicle Spear, making sure we deny their quick moves and we do not let them sneak any through. And we will shield this up, no problem at all. They're going to be able to get one more quick move through, which is not much energy. Well, technically it is. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go for that Icicle Spear, not even hitting all of them, the disrespect. And in comes Scrafty to farm us down. We can go Charizard or Venusaur. I go with the Venusaur because we're going to be able to take the hits a little bit better. And we're going to be able to spam our charge moves that hit a lot harder, a lot faster. Well, I wouldn't say a lot harder, but a lot spammier with the quick move that we do have. Getting the last shield, so we do swap into our Charizard to start taking advantage of the situation here. What we're going to have to do is let this foul play go. Yes, both of our Shadow Pokemon are a little bit low, but it doesn't really matter. They bring in a Swamper, folks. This is still happening. You think this is over? Oh, this is easy money. This is easy money. We go Blast Burn. That's right. And what we're going to do when we go into battle with the uh, Venusaur is farm them down. They're going to get to another Hydro Cannon, which is fine. Venusaur will win the CMP uh, if they even have energy ready to go at that point. So we do shield it up, farm them down, or they swap. Oh, did they swap or we took them out? We just took them out so quick we didn't even see it. And one more quick move takes to win with the Venusaur. Let's go. Moving on to our next battle, Wall Raid lead again. Met with the Galvantula. It's not great. Okay. You know, it could be worse. It definitely could be worse. But um, 
Yeah, we're still going to be doing a decent amount of damage here. I figure they're going to go lunge right off the bat here to lower our attack. So we let it go. Okay, so we just want to hold on to that shield. They're actually going to be double shielding their Galvangela here for whatever reasons. Okay, which is perfectly fine. You know, strategy works sometimes. So unfortunately, we did have an Icicle Spear, but the fortunate part is they're actually throwing their energy uh, so that we can't get it off. But now their energy dry. Well, guess I. Not as dry as I thought, so we shielded it up. I just couldn't gamble whether or not it was going to be a lunge or a uh, a discharge, so we just go ahead and shield it up. They swap into an Umbreon, lock themselves. We build up a little bit more energy with Charizard, and do not throw because, well, they debuffed our attack with the lunge. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the Venusaur to have a little fun here. Uh, don't think they have Psychic, otherwise they probably would have thrown it by now. And we're going to farm a little bit more, resisting the electric moves up against the Galvantula. But who knows what they're going to be throwing into battle here. Energy on our Charizard. One shield left as well with a de decent amount of health. I mean, let's see what we can do. Bringing back the Galvantula. I swap into Charizard to take this sucker around. Like, nah, I'm not playing this game with you. So down goes the Galvantula. We got a shield left. It's in the back. A Swampert. Another one of these situations here. Charizard said, how's it going? Ground and water type. I'm a Shadow Fire. Can you take me out? Catch me if you can. So we're going to go ahead and shield this one up, and we're going to be maybe getting to the Blast Burn. And, folks, will this be enough? Charizard going up against Swampert said, Night, night, sleep tight, get out of here. <laughs> Next battle, what are we going to see? Hey, Gramble. Yeah. Okay, you could stay here, but I swap because both of our Pokemon in the back are going to be able to handle it here. So I bring in the Charizard. Looks like they're trying to catch, I think. What do they just swap into? We go for the Dragon Claw. Oh, yeah. They swap into Typhlosion, and we go for the Dragon Claw. Able to get to another one here. Easy money. We're going to get to another one, as a matter of fact, because we do kind of need to shield this up. Because, well, Wall Rain and Venusaur don't want to go up against this too much. Unless shields are down, eh, I guess Wall Rain can go to Earthquake. Anyways, we're getting to another Dragon Claw here. And they're letting it go. Good. Thank goodness. Bring it in the Gramble to farm us down. Perfection. All right, now I do bring in Walrein here because of what I do feel like they have in their back line. I know Venusaur is going to be a great uh, spot to be in this situation here, but we're using our last shield. And what we're going to do is farm them down. But they said, nah, I don't want you to farm me all the way down. Let's see if I made the correct call. What's in the back? Trevenant. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. It's okay. It's all right. We would have been better going in with Venusaur, but it doesn't really matter. We're still in a good position here. This is not going to be enough to KO. Will they be able to farm us down, though, or... We get to it. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Walrein is so OP. What a disgusting clown walrus. <laughs> Immediately bring it in our Venusaur because I'm, like I said, I'm not having any of that. And we take the win with our Venusaur. Next battle, leading with Charizard, swapping it up. Met with a Cresselia. Do need to look out for a future site that's going to be doing devastating amounts of damage, of course. A telltale sign is that they immediately swap. Okay, well, looks like they still have Moonblast and uh, Grass Knot. Sweet. So we're going to go for the Blast Burn here. They shield it up. So a Moon Blast or two. Yeah, it starts adding up. It really does, even though it's resisted. And it's not even getting stabbed, so pretty crazy. So we do shield this up. Let's see if they want to double shield that Cresselia. I do believe they can take this, though. Yeah, that's no problem at all. But we will be able to beat them to the... Oh, never mind. This is a... this is not a Moon Blast. Give me a break. Yeah, exactly. Get out of here. You're not getting my shield. All right. <laughs> and they take us out with a Finneon. Tapu Finny. yee all right, so we bring in the Venusaur, and they immediately swap into their Registeel. Oh, it's this team. Oh, 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 oh. So this is a bad situation, and it's looking like I'm going to lose. Let's be real. It's not going to actually work. Let's just take a look and see what happens here. So, yeah, this is an uphill battle that, let's see. Mm, I'm not even going to give any examples. It's just a bad, hard, difficult battle here that's not going to happen. So we go for an Earthquake. I'm just trying to do as much damage. Knowing that Frenzy Plant Venusaur is still... Like I said, it's, there's no resistances with Shadow Venusaur's Frenzy Plant. They swap back into their Tapu Fin trying to catch a... Something. And I bring in Venusaur and I'm like, Hello? How are you doing today? Let's have a little fun with my Shadow. And even though they lowered our attack, doesn't matter. Uh, Shadow Venusaur is still going to be just a nasty, devastating... Like, like, okay, that damage, like, that's devastating damage? Like, yeah, actually it is. It's very spammy, even though they lower our attack and it has a massive resistance. That's XL Registeel, okay? So, yes. Venusaur is probably, I, like I said, it's my favorite Pokemon and it's just so dang good, period. Next battle, we're met with a Shadow Gramble. Re Shadow or regular? Gramble, nonetheless. They swap into a 
Typhlosion, and I bring in our Wall Rain. I made a bad mistake. I should have just stayed there with the Charizard so I can go for Dragon Claw because the Venusaur is going to be able to handle that, uh, that Gramble because it's Poison type. So here we are in this bad situation that I put myself in, really beating myself over the head because, uh, well, it's not looking good. So we're just going to have to try to bait here, uh, I guess. They let it go, which is so horrible. I'm like, well, are you kidding me? Which made me even more infuriated. Like, man, I'm going to top left so bad right now. I don't even want to give you a battle with me. <laughs> so they take me out here. I bring in the Charizard. And, uh, come on, let me farm them down. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? They get to a blast burn and I'm like, oh, this is over. This is over, over, over. They got a shield too. So they bring in Drapion. We go for blast burn here. And they actually let it go. And I'm thinking, no way. Did you just give me the battle, my friend? I think you actually did. So we are swapping to our Venusaur. They bring in that Gramble that goes down. They're putting all their hope into this Drapion here for whatever reason. We're going to let this Crunch go, no problem at all. We get to the charge move. This is all we needed to do because Charizard does have... I think it has a charge move ready to go, right? Dragon Claw. Venusaur is going to take this win. Oh my gosh, Venus. See? It's number one, folks. Oh, it's lagging. What's going on? Okay, next battle. What are we going to see? Leading with Charizard. Pangoro. Okay, so first thing that came to mind was, oh yeah, I'm not going to have that Rock Side hit me again like last time. Still scarred from that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and shield it up and it is a Rock Side. Yes, bingo. I got it. All right, so we're going to go for a Dragon Claw here. Hopefully they shield up. Good, 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 good. Looks like I was trying to hit another one here because they're fairly low enough. We're going to shield this up. It is a night nice slash, unfortunately. Double shielding my Charizard. Here we go with that. All right, so Charizard, buddy, old pal, old friend. I hope you can do this. There's no way. We're going to have to swap to catch. Nope. Yeah, so we catch a Rock Side here, which is good. I don't want the Charizard to go down. Seeing that they double shielded their Pangoro. There you go. There's that thing, Escavalier. There's the first Pokemon weak to fire. Is it going to be the last? Who knows? Frenzy Plant's still doing a ton of damage up against that Steel and Bug-type Pokemon. And they're going to farm town, aren't they? That's not particularly the best. But this is a shieldless battle, so it's not horrible either. Uh, let's see. Okay, Aerial Ace. Okay, that's no problem. Charizard is unfortunately going to get hit by an Aerial Ace because this is the reason why they did all that extra farming is so they can do this damage to the Charizard right here. But we do have a Blast Burn ready to go. They bring it in Amphro, so we throw the Blast Burn immediately here. We're going to swap into our Wall Rain, and it is a shieldless battle. They can't take us out. There's, they just can't get to two Thunder Punches. It's not happening. And with this farm energy that we're getting here, we're going to be looking golden. Throwing the Icicle Spear right away, and then we're going to be able to just simply farm down the Amphros here. Down goes the Pangoro, and we take that win. Let's go. All right. Scores up and down, up and down, up and down, folks. You know what it is. This is going to be our last battle. Met with a Crate Illy. Stone Edge will one shot, like I like to say on this channel, a whole family of Charizards. If it's doing a ton of damage, say four times a week to something, I like to do that comparison. So like, I don't know, probably like <laughs> two or two or two and a half Charizards worth. Anyways, uh, we're getting shields, we're doing damage, and swapping to catch. I do believe this is going to be a Grass Knot. They were trying to bait me here, or they just saw it. I don't know. Who knows? That is a pretty crazy call if they did call that and see that and they're swapping into Clefable so the only thing I'm thinking is there's got to be a Swampert back there if they're bringing in a Clefable to go up against my Shadow Venusaur here so they shielded the first one we go for the next one show me what's in the back is it a Swampert it's a Primeape Primeape's gonna one shot this uh or I mean Venusaur is gonna one shot this Primeape and with that said, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. They immediately swap and uh, well, we have a shield and that's about a wrap. Thank you for watching and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.